Hi, today I'm going to be tackling a topic which is dear to all singers' hearts, high notes. There's nothing more stressful for a singer than knowing that the big finish is coming with a big high note and you're just not sure whether your voice is going to do it. So I'm going to teach you a process today um, which will help you to make those high notes um, effortless and successful every single time. So the first tip is you've got to warm your voice up fully. Now that involves warming up the lower end of the voice as well. Don't just think high notes, I need to warm up the top. You need to work the bottom end as well. Second tip, you've got to relax. If you are anxious, any kind of level of anxiety about your high notes is gonna kill your high notes completely. So you have to learn to check in with your toes, your knees, your pelvic floor muscles, and take that yawny relaxed ah breath, which gets your jaw nice and relaxed and this mechanism nice and relaxed. Third tip, when you're actually going for that high note, you need to open your mouth wide. Have the ah space um, in the back of your mouth. Regardless of what the vowel is that you're singing, you need that relaxed ah space. Fourth tip, this is a really important one. You need to breathe for the highest note in the phrase. So as you sing notes that go higher and higher, they need more and more space in order to be able to resonate. High notes don't actually use much air, but the air that does get into your mouth needs to um, vibrate around and resonate inside your mouth. And that's what produces that big, effortless, full, powerful sound that we're looking for. So you need to have the space ready for the highest note as you take the breath for the whole phrase. So a phrase might start on a low note and go high. It's no use trying to take a breath and then sing the start of the phrase and then suddenly open your mouth for the high note. You need to have your mouth in that position for the highest note. So I call that breathing for the highest note in the phrase. So you do the yawny and then sing the whole phrase and the R space is there for you when you hit that high note. Finally, what I would say is always when you've mastered it in the key that you're doing the song, this is like my super pro tip, then transpose it up a semitone and master it a semitone higher than you're ever going to sing it. And this will build your confidence. You'll know that when you get on stage or wherever you're singing your song, that that top note is going to pop out because you know that you can do it a semitone or even a tone higher. I'm going to show you the process now. So the first thing is check in with your toes, knees, pelvic floor. Are they all loose and relaxed? Yes. Tick. Yawn the breath in. I'm breathing for the highest note in the phrase. Everything relaxed still. Check that jaw, check the knees, toes, pelvic floor. Nothing in the world will ever be the same. So you can see that everything is wide open, jaw is loose and relaxed. No, if that was my start note last time, I'm going to start a semitone higher. No. Same process. Yawn the breath in, breathe for the highest note in the phrase. Nothing in the world will ever be the same. Effortless high notes. Practice, practice, practice.